Hello and welcome to Texas. It is Legacy Texas and it is the Gen 4 car as we're headed out for qualifying here. Uh, one of my favorite tracks and one of my favorite cars. And we've got ourselves a pretty top heavy field here today. It's only 2.6k strength of field, but uh, we've got a couple of names you may recognize as very fast in Lewandowski and uh, Larry Pace up top there putting us as the number three car. And we some we have some really fast guys uh, as the four and five and such as well, and then uh, the field kind of falls off a little bit. It's a very top heavy field, like I said, in terms of eye reading, which uh, could be interesting. I don't know if that means that everyone's going to get spread apart or if uh, guys are going to be running each other over. <laughs> we'll see, but uh, hopefully it'll be a good race. I do my best here to get a good lap in. The setup is unfortunately quite tight. That's what I've discovered. And uh, that's going to make it difficult here for me to save my right front and uh, be as fast as I need to be. Don't know if the 29-1 is going to hold up. Probably not. I feel like guys are going to be able to hit a faster lap than that. Is this going to be any better? It is. A 29-0. I think I'm a little bit happier with that. 8-9 in practice. In open practice. That was just once. So I think I'll take a 29-0. Just barely holding on there as the number five comes in behind us and Larry will kick us out of the top spot and Lewandowski will get the 28. So at least we won't start P2. I hate doing that. Um, I am content if we can if we stay at third. I hope so. But I'm sure there's still other guys that are putting their times in. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if uh, this is going to work out so well for us. I'm usually uh, pretty confident, usually feeling pretty good here at Texas, but like I said, the setup is very, very tight. And uh, I'm also, another thing I happen to do a lot of is kill my tires. So hopefully I can avoid doing that, but we could fall off a cliff here with tire wear if we're not careful. I'm going to try hard to uh, not overdrive it. Try to get on that right rear rather than the right front. See if we can't have ourselves some good pace at the start and end of the runs. Hopefully we get long runs. Even if it might not benefit me. I hope we have some green flag racing. Watch your speed. The officials are telling us they won't accept the way you're driving. Your lap time will see be deleted that. until you reset the I think car. I came in a little hot there, that's fine. Got Dante in here. I wish him good luck. He said hello. So he has himself a good race. He's a driver in the league's races. 97-97 there after those first couple of laps. You can see they wear pretty pretty fast. I think maybe the first couple of laps I can get on the right rear real, uh, real good. And uh, get it rotated. But once the uh, car starts getting, the tires get up to temp and stuff, it gets a lot more difficult. So, we're just going to have to see what we can do there. <sighs> uh, pretty full field. We got 24 people in here, it looks like. Yep, 24. It is Monday, um, but not the first time slot or anything. Not even close. Driving here at 10.37 is the current time, central time. Waiting on the 11. I don't know if they plan on doing laps or if they're just uh, sitting around. Just going to make us wait another 22 seconds, I guess. Uh, make sure that's unmuted. Okay. Got ourselves 80 laps here today. We'll see what strategy is going to look like. Probably just pit at 40 if it goes green. I don't think it will go green, to be honest. I think we're probably going to get a handful of wrecks. Guys getting loose and probably guys fighting for that bottom line since you really only have the bottom line here at Texas. Although I like this place, it is unfortunately very single lane. But a lot of tracks are single lane on iRacing, so... 
What do I know, anyway? I don't know any better. P3 is where we'll hang on to. I'm happy with that. If I'm not going to be first, at least put me P3, I guess. And, uh... We'll get started there. Interesting, there's a 2 tenth fall off almost from 4th to 5th. The 23 was an excellent qualifying effort there. Start behind us. Good luck to him. That's always cool to see. Yeah, had a great lap. So he can finish that off with a good race. I don't know the guy. Good luck to him. Though. Lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is years. closed right now. The estimated SOF is 2,610. I think they might have updated the estimated green. strength of field because they've been accurate, accurate the last couple of times. Yeah. Other people talking about the tight setup. It's mainly a... Uh, like center of the corner, it's real tight. Um. Yeah, it's a tight one for these cars anyway. But then snappy loose if you crank the wheel too fast. Yeah, it's like they finally got the men to have the same balance as the Arctic car, just more horsepower. I remember when this car first came out, you couldn't even go flat out through the front straight here once you wore the tires out. Some guy asking about my uh, steering ratio. Which that was fun, though, so of course we can't have that. I'd say God forbid there's any wheel spin. I guess that won't be a huge issue with these. We'll see. Well, I hope everyone has their boating life. There are two additional sets of tires during this race. All right, don't know that guy, but he asked me about it, so I'll give him the track best answer I got. 86. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Give him an honest answer, I just run 12 to 1. I guess technically sometimes I'll run 10 to 1 on short tracks sometimes if I want that extra turn and stuff, and maybe like road courses sometimes I'll run 10 to 1. Pretty much every track I do 12 to 1. Because I figure like you can run 16 to 1. But if you're, like, turning your wheel several times over to the left anyway, that's not really going to make a difference. So I figure just keep it consistent, um, get used to how the car handles, and just uh, remain disciplined. Remember not to do most of your turning with the steering wheel if you can avoid it. Get the car slowed down as you need to. It's just how I figure. Uh, go about it. It seems to work just fine for me. Sometimes I kill my tires, but that's more of a driver issue, I think, than anything. What year is this track? So, we'll start behind Luminowski. He's got his Wood Brothers car. Maybe even get to the inside of Larry here if we get a good jump. About to go green. Stay See what focused. we can do. If it really wants that inside, that's fine. I'll let him have it. He earned it. He got there. So how am I going to avoid killing my... Sorry, Nine. Thank you for not spinning me out. Good question, I don't know. We'll file in here, run some single file laps. See what happens. Nah, uh, getting on the right rear there. Got a little bit loose. That works. Trying to keep uh, the throttle light. Very interesting. Really shallow. That's interesting. I can see how that would probably help the right front wear. Yeah, that would. I don't think I would be able to do it very well though. But not bad, but we'll see. Interesting how low they're entering. 
Fastest lap for Buchanan, 29.3. Trying to yaw it out, carrying our speed that way. Is Larry going to go for the lead here? Looks like he's looking. Looks like looking. <laughs> they can slow each other down a little bit, being side by side. Whoa, getting loose on exit. Lewandowski is a little bit lit there, maybe. I don't want it to see him side by side for longer, maybe burn their stuff up a little bit more. Hey, maybe we've got it. I wish just get granted. He's got to file in there. Cause us uh, to have to check up a bit, that's fine. Green so far. I thought maybe we'd get an immediate wreck, but nothing yet. Still time, though. Trying to feather the throttle a little bit. Probably still overdriving it, but it's what it is. Some space back the five, just a just tiny bit of space. That's not doing too bad, not quite as tight as it is whenever I go full out, at least. So it could be worse. Through eight here, Legacy Texas. Big lift. I'm trying to use the power of the vehicle to get it rotated. on the apron they've uh, had some issues already it looks like a caution from whatever happened though Been a pretty good run through three and four gonna do anything oh not quite there Kind of running laps right now, anyway. Top four is broken away. We've got quite a uh, big gap down to fifth, but who knows? Maybe they're saving the tires much better back there. That's going to result in uh, them coming up on us later. Some smoke. Still no caution there. Maybe he's starting to pull away in front of us a little bit. One take on the input. Just have the break a little bit, baby. It's just so tight on entry and through center, man. I was fine just coasting with you, brother. More contact, potentially, that didn't result in the yellow. It's also you more smoke. Now. 
we're running two different races. I think, I don't know. We, we're stepped fast in different parts of the track. You know, they're pulling away a little bit. We'll start using some brake on entry. This thing slowed down. As predicted, uh, probably not doing a very good of save my tires. Maybe they could fight side by side some more. That would bring me back to them, but I'd be able to keep up with them anyway. Are you talking to me? No, the 13. I see Tony the Tiger, though. It's kind of 15 oh, laps God, done here. Way. Yeah, it is. I couldn't hardly tell what you said. Yeah, sorry. I've been having a little issues with the XLR input on my mic. The setup were a little looser. I'm going to go around the course here and really get on that right rear, but... Yo, Seven, you think if I touch the wall enough time... We'll have to be careful. Seems kind of like that shallow entry has really worked for those guys. I haven't practiced that, though, so that's why I'm kind of not trying to even attempt it myself. I'm just going to do what I know. Hopefully do it consistently. Well, you keep working on one, and I'll keep working on three. We'll see uh, whose wall moves first. And four, I've done... Couple, three, yeah, three, that's not too bad at all, especially as the number three. You know, we don't really need these people barriers in our race. I think we get Michael McDowell on the issue. Yeah, and there's a caution. Single file. I think we just get one eventually. Only two sets of tires. I think we gotta take them off for that run. We could actually get to use the same tire. Don't think we'd make it on fuel. Pit roads open. Pits are open. All right, fill this thing full of fuel. That guy's really close to my right rear. Are you guys able to stay full throttle out of the corner? No. If you do, you're probably gonna kill your left right rear too. I kind of figured these guys coming in. All I even try to do with the guys up front are doing is they do like fucking alien shit. I don't know how they go that fast and not let their tires up. Five. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I can't do it, but this is also my second time. Right here. That's too far forward. How fast you go? That's how you go, Alright, oh well. 84 86. That's not actually as bad as I thought. 84 right, how do you go? Six. I bet those guys can eat on the right here, though. Clearly, I'm not driving hard enough. Terrible stop for me. Can't make it to the end. I'm one point below both of those numbers. 85, 87, 82, 8. Wow, those guys were actually even worse on the right fronts. God, I hope it's... Yeah, I could four. Huh. I just took damage. Uh -oh. Except for Larry. Larry's maybe a little bit better. I don't know. I can't type it. I was 83, 86. I oh, would someone stay out. 80, 89. 24 right. stayed out. 87, 89. I don't know if it was going to be taking tires there. Alright, can we please get Green Flag run in this time? <laughs> We just got 20 laps, Green. What was that? One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Yeah, we're coming in at the end of this lap. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're back in uh, eighth, looks like. 
after sliding through a box. That's fine. We'll uh, be patient. Then I have 10 seconds damage around my wall. Huh? Might help us uh, save tire anyway. Larry, are you running rubber, bro? Probably. Outside line could get the better start here. Oh, never mind. We got a whole front row. Good morning, I didn't pick tires, so I'm going to be not quite as quick. Whole front row didn't take tires, so it could be a slower launch. Got to be ready for that. The majority took tires, I think. Yeah, it seems like it. I just repaired damage, so I had like a normal length of the stop still, but I didn't pick tires. Get ready, going green. I don't think the front two did. Alright, let's watch for the jump. Hopefully they don't spin the tires up and wreck the whole field. Oh yeah, you're right. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Watch for wheel spin. Green, 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 green. Car inside. The eight. Clear inside. Car outside. <laughs> Lots of check it out there. Go low. Wrecking, 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 all right, I don't know if we gained anything at all there. Well, Felt like we were moving forward though. Shot up the rear there, nine. I'm sorry if I got into you, if I got into you. Well, still eighth it looks like. Hey, can you make it through that? Pete Road is now open. Yeah. Full course yellow. It's are open. Yeah, I might have stacked it up there on the outside. I short shifted going into one and lost a lot of momentum. Well, you don't want a short shift here. I might have messed it up on the inside. I thought the guy in front of me was going, but he wasn't. Lots of uh, uncertainty on that restart. It sounds like lots of checking up as a result. Quiet. So we'll build. It will be eight still. However, the uh, guys that didn't take tires are in different spots. Well, I was still second, but the 24 is going to be right in front of us, because of course they are. But at least we didn't die in some fiery wreck. So at least there's that. I think the outside line is going to be a major disadvantage here since uh, old tires are both in the right lane. This could be a tough restart for us. It's my own fault for being back here. Oh, Dante died in uh, whatever happened, it sounds like. That sucks. I don't know exactly what happened. It Clearly must have happened behind us. We'll see later when we check the incidents. One lap to green. You're on the outside. We'll be behind the 24. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Try it again. Hopefully we'll go green this time. 14 outside. I wish you had a thing up already started. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh no, trust me, that'd be worse. Yeah, I'll choose a little beaten and bang it over absolute death. Because then the, the smart guys in the front would be on old tires in front of everyone. I'll try this again. It's Lewandowski on the pole right now, or up front. It seems to work all right in the 87, but I don't know. Gonna leave a little bit of room to the 24 since they probably won't launch as well. The 
Safe car is in. And they're not launching at all, in fact. Good lord. Inside, D9. Clear, inside. You're in the middle, three wide. Still there, still there. Clear outside, two wide. Got stuck behind them, but we found a way around. Clear. Larry, I'm gonna go high on one and two. Clear Getting around some guys. There's the 12 who was on old tires. You didn't tell me you were going to try to die in front of me first, but. Sixth place. Thank you. Anytime. So we are sixth. Getting loose up ahead, it looked like. Whoa. Oh my gosh, the seven's on the wall hard. Outside. Around him. No, okay, you're going to have to work for it. Yeah, I'll go high. So we are top five again. You're in five. That was at 29.3. Six going high. The car in front of us is now teal. See if we can't get around the six. Outside. Keep low. Go okay, low. Twenty-nine point seven. Go okay, low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. A little bit loose there. there. Fine. Trying to clear the guy. Oh, you're going to 119. I'll go high. You're in fourth position. No, I'm just driving. We get caught back up to that top three. Going easier this run than I did the last one. The captain, Carrington, ahead is now 0.8. That was a 29.8. Trying to be consistent. This goes green for a long time. I think that'll be helpful to us. Six has been able to hang on to us pretty well. He's still back there, two tenths back. Ooh, I almost had to correct it into the wall there. That was not very good. Uh, 
Oh, it's just the setup is so tight. It's a bummer. We still have to kind of fight the uh, loose a little bit on the exit, just because how uh, fast these cars are, but you really have to baby it through the center unless you want to kill your right front. And on entry, it's you really have to slow down. So we can't make it to the end on fuel. That's gonna be interesting. Deciding when to come in. I guess it would be lap 50 if we wanted to cut it in half. 50, 51-ish. You know, we're kind of at a disadvantage at the moment. We kind of fell behind from having the track position. That pit stop. We're not quite up there with those guys. Oh my god, this set is so tight. I was getting loose up there on exit a little bit. I think they were able to carry their speed just fine though. Well, in the initial run we had uh, the top four break away. Now it's kind of the top two breaking away and then the top Five and a, a little, a little bit of a lesser breakaway, I guess. That's halfway. We think about 22 laps of fuel left. That lap time was 30.7. Whoa! The fight's getting loose on the straightaway somehow. Maybe uh, grab the wall just for a moment. Got him unsettled. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Halfway to the finish. I don't know if we can trust this thing to go green, but... Just done a 30.8. Optimal pit strategy is going to be lap 50-ish. Go for that? I don't know. I don't think there's any way they could survive a green flag cycle, is there? I don't know if we can, we can bank on that. I just have to react to the other guys. That six is catching up to us, though. Peace. Larry gets around Radowski, it looks like. Window now open. Good I think it probably was already open, but okay. They uh, sure thing, crew chief. Five having another issue, and the field having another issue. Damn it! Something's up ahead. We got to slow down a little bit. To where you guys? Know what that guy's doing? Let loose. They get some new ones. I was going to try to make it on fuel. No green flag pit stops here today. As I figured they couldn't make it. We 
We're just going to take tires again, I guess. Pete Road is now open. Well, of course, yellow. It'll be our last set, but... We'll just do that. Look out for the pit speed limit. The leader, Peace, is pitting. Watch your speed. Okay, Colton. I wonder if we'll have more people staying out this time. That wouldn't really make sense since we can make it on fuel now, but, you know. I Three, two, I feel one. like I've made a great mistake. Right here. Not as bad as mine, I just missed my kickoff. Well, hey, 83. Just back up. We'll come in second time around. Ah. Okay, go. We'll have another caution. You are out of tires. Line up. Angle and hold on. Did I just... Right, we're good on fuel. Okay. I'm hoping for a caution about 20 laps, maybe. Guys that saved a set could uh, really benefit if oh, it works yeah. out for them. Man, I can't make it on fuel, though. I'm okay with where I am. If we get a badly... A poorly timed caution. It is what it is. Hey, do you want to I, that was like you, I thought I did. Definitely not. You know, it was just quick. Pass that. Hey, car. Hates passing us for some reason. We are P6, I think. So we'll be on the outside. We've got some no tire takers. I think the 6 and the 19. Maybe the 5 took 2? I wasn't paying attention when they were talking. But I'm happy with our 4 tire call. We'll just hope it goes green to the end. <laughs> really got stuck with lying Carl's there. He's the 14, looks like. Pop yep, up, we're in the right front. That's what I figured I would happen. I've had it by three laps. I've never had an issue. It's are open. Tell me I got barely enough to make it to the end. I missed my chance so to reply to him. Or, I think, can you do it from here? Kind of oh, you can't. Okay. They also get worse fuel mileage as we spin the tires right in around two, so usually fuel mileage gets worse. We haven't had a late fuel run there, so your car doesn't know it. One to go, next time by. This will be much like you take fuel under the caution line too, though, so I don't know. Texting and driving. Do you give it only don't one mile extra? That's not the right letters. But you know, we're having a caution about 20 laps anyway. That seems to be the schedule. Yeah, I'm hoping and praying for that caution. All right. Well, we'll see what happens here. We need both. And I got an extra step. I didn't take any first caution. Now that I'm done being a horrible pacer because I'm texting and driving. I destroyed mine. The Keyboard, the keyboards are not in a very good spot, spot to be like one hand on the wheel. What were your tires on the uh, like piping away? You did. Like for uh, the full, I have a 6371. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, uh, the guys ahead can get a good Definitely launch. Got a full get ready, going green. Come on, they're we're gonna have to give a little bit of space. Appreciate that uh, the tens got some space behind us. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Alright. Oh, that tire's a bitch. Survive that. 
Five holding us very tight on the outside. We are clear now. <laughs> we made him we made a move there. Saw an opportunity to get some track position. Probably a little bit too aggressive, but uh, we're here now. I'll go high in three and four. See what I could do. I'm trying to get the car rotated. It's uh, colder tires. I feel like maybe I can get away with it. Driving a little harder. I mean, I said. Not quite there. And I really liked uh, the setup we had last time we visited here, too. Maybe it's the same one and just the track conditions changed or something, but I feel like it uh, really worked out for me better last time. I enjoyed the way it drove much more. Just gonna go for that right rear burn off. I think. And then when I can't uh, get on the right rear anymore, we'll just accept our fate. Welcome back to Purgatory, kid. Right here on them, but we can do about it. Mm, not quite there enough. Let's put my nose down there. Just waiting for my tires to fall off a cliff. So you know they probably will. The heck, it's been fun while it's lasted. And the hope is I don't fall off too bad. Let's 
Starting to shift that way, it looks like. They're getting a little bit more turn, I think. They had a good race with Larry once today. That was an ARCA at USA. It was better long run there, too. He got around me for second place later in that event. Probably going to do the exact same thing here. <laughs> Give him, let him buy for second place. car is very tight now. Just gonna be holding on. You've just done thirty point four. We get into our inside here very shortly. That lap time was 30.5. Got a little bit of a gap down to fourth at least, so if uh, Larry gets by us, be able to hold on third. That's going to be the run Larry needs. Car inside. Clear. Bye. Problem. I think I let you buy for second already yeah, once today. <laughs> That's funny. Repeating, uh. So, uh, Nick, how are you doing on fuel? In the same car body. Not good. Yeah, same. What's up, we'll get you guys. When Dowski really yawned it out up there. I, could use some I think our best chance with 15 to go here. Some, uh, good new rubber. These guys uh, get side by side. Battle it out. See if I can't take advantage of them losing momentum or something. But even if we get P3, that's pretty darn good. And Larry, get there. It looks like he's on the move. And it looks like he intends to stick his nose down there for too long. Hitting this time. You guys uh, hitting. So can't make it on fuel. So we have gone green so far. Hopefully it stays that way because otherwise those guys who have tires to spare are going to absolutely wipe the floor with us. Oh my god, I almost slid it up into the wall. That's going to lose me a ton of time. Better than hitting the wall, I guess, but not what I wanted. Now would be a perfect time for a car. Never would be a perfect time for a caution. I don't want any of that. Oh, that stings. The 23 is in 21st. I was rooting for him to have a nice finish. We got a pass for the lead going on here. Turn four is trying to kill me. I think the five is going to catch me because I cannot get this thing to turn Just enough out of the corner now. Now skip him back to the inside. 
kind of what I was looking for. These guys to battle, but my car is in such bad shape right now. Oh, it's gonna matter. I seem intense to smack that exit of four. The next car is Ace. Gasky gets a little loose in front of Larry. Is Larry gonna be able to get to his inside? They are having quite the battle. Yes, look at that. Brad will back and forth race for the win. <laughs> Thomas is back to the inside. What a race. Ten to go. Ten to go. I'm enjoying this. Just watching it. <laughs> the next car's the leader. Meanwhile, as they race their tires off, maybe I could get my tires cooler. We'll see. Got lap traffic coming up too, that could play a factor. Got it the one. Gonna get very, very interesting. Thank you, yeah, I just gotta try to get back <laughs> What a battle! They are clear as them. They have just been swapping spots and it's helped us stay up with them. Just a bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was wanting to caution too, but oh well. Oh, they're trying to make a caution up ahead. I see smoke. I think the guy hit the wall. Do not want that at all. Wait, no, I think he's tired. Okay, Colton. That's unbelievably tight. Still wants to snap on exit because of how much wheel I need to put into it. Outside. Why would he hold me that tight? Outside. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Get out of my way, man. Car outside. You. Clear up. Why you would block somebody on the leaf lap like that when they're coming 50 miles an hour faster, but we lose time because of that. Six to go. That may have ruined uh, our potential to get third. That guy cutting in front of us like he did. It's just got an exit. Car outside. Lab car's weaving all Clear over the track. The car on the high side. Clear outside. Oh, they faint. Car inside. Oh. Clear inside. I thought that was going to be the caution. Thanks for not running me over, Richard. That was got you. Got a cook warning. Five left to go. I don't know why we're weaving all over the track. Head is now 0.9. <sighs> well, we go from third yeah, to fifth. I would have went by normally, but I had to kind of pick the bottom there. All good, man. At least we survived it. Give myself a 1x, still trying to gather it all up. These guys need to get off the bottom lane. There's faster cars coming. Car That's ridiculous. Clear outside. What is going on up there? I don't know if we have damage, I don't think it matters though. Alright, one, I was trying to leave the up, top open for you. <laughs> Two left to go. Two to go. No damage. Car looks clean. Says we got no damage. I guess I slammed on the brakes well enough. Cool. Ahead is now 0.8. Clear outside. 
to uh, avoid getting anything on the nose. Certainly cost us still, though. Go from third to fifth. We might have lost third anyway. It was going to be a good battle, I think, but... Here in fifth now. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. White flag. One more to go. The car in front is Cook. Rip my eye reading. Well, I guess we'll get fifth. Yeah, Could have been much worse after whatever that guy did. Look at it. Two or three more laps. Three or three. Good win there, Larry. Good race, everybody. Three or three. All right. Good race, everybody. Could have been worse. Good race. Good win. It's over. Should have been booty. I was enjoying watching that battle for the win, but. Really well. Yeah, definitely wish it was a bit looser in some spots. But not only is it pattern injury, it's the worst of worst push wounds. Yeah, the tight said it was right. Caution, very time people from tires. Yeah, the tight is a lot of the track, then you try to get back sound on it. So All right. Not be loose. Let's take a look at it. Like an, like an easy tight set up. So this guy just swerving all over the track. One. Killed my right front that last run. Like, what are you doing? If I'm not driving off hard enough, it looks like. That's ridiculous. So. I would have been better if it weren't for all the traffic. That made me push a lot, but I was actually doing pretty good at driving guy off. Guy gets into the wall. Cuts all the way down the track. Yeah, that was quite a. Guy moves back up. Then is way off the pace and so i'm coming up on him and he's moving up high and i'm thinking all right the smart thing to do would be to go way up high because you're off the pace and let the guys go by but he for some reason cuts to the left and takes the racing line while he's over 20 miles an hour off the pace and sits in the racing line What, did, uh, what happened to Charles? It's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially as the 14. Uh, oh, Jesus, don't look at that. Um, <laughs> I was obviously going really hard at the end there. But yeah, as a 14 car, to get a solid top 10, that's not bad at all. Um, yeah, we're just... 17 decides to park it right on the racing line for some reason. And as a result, we'll lose two spots. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be it, because the setup's so tight, you can't really save it without going too slow. So I'm thinking, like, you might just really need to gas it up on exit and get the car yawed out. And uh, let the right rear join the party with the right front as it's wearing to hell. And uh, at the very least, you can try to balance it out the best you can and carry some speed at the same time. Give him good luck if he tries to give it another go. Hopefully he has some success. And, uh, well, at least we were able to hold on. Somehow we are able to give him a light enough tap. Oh, that's awesome.
That's why he was saying hello. It's who I am, I guess. <laughs> So, I don't know, man. Should I have just... I felt like I didn't really have a choice, because the guy's weaving, like, I don't know if I go low, if he weaves to the right again. You know, if I try to go to his outside, is he going to weave to the right again? That's going to happen, so that's just the problem of not being predictable. The guy's all over the backstretch, and fortunately, he's just right in the way. And, uh, no apologize. No apology, guy. Have a good one, man. So. Uh, I guess we'll go... Oops, gotta go back to the start. We'll see the rest of the incidents. Um, all in all, 1x from that. And it wasn't even from that. It was from me just trying to gather it up and not even thinking. And being out of the, the groove a little bit, I kind of cut the grass a little too far. But All in all, that was... Uh, Crisis averted. You know, when things go wrong, I guess the best you can do is manage your situation the best you can. Having been able to slam on the brakes and uh, just give them the light tap. Definitely uh, turned a bad situation into a uh, unfortunate, moderately inconvenience. <laughs> Moderate inconvenience, I guess. Maybe a little more than that, but hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. Some wall hits so far. The 16 gonna nearly loop it. Not quite. I remember seeing them uh, on the apron earlier in the race. They actually just exit out. Was that? Did they cause a caution because of that? We get an early caution from their stuff. I don't remember. What was the original caution? Because wasn't there an immediate caution? Am I? I might be making that up. I think I made that up. First caution was like. And a couple laps here. So, lap 17. Oh, interesting. So that looked like a chain of events, maybe. They're coming through the dog leg, and uh, our good friend here in the 17 gets loose. Causes a checkup for the 20, and then the 11's not ready for uh, someone to be checking up through the quad oval. And they uh, meet right there. 20 is spinning. Does anybody get into him? Is that it? I think everybody was alright. So that wasn't actually so bad. So not what that guy wanted <laughs> by any means, but here we are on the restart. 19 just gonna plow into the back of Dante. I feel like everybody that I know in these races today has just been run into the back of. Just going into the corner just fine, and the 19 just runs into the back of him. And you can't touch uh, the bumper at all in this car, or else this exact thing will happen. Nine times out of ten. I'm surprised Dante's car was destroyed from that. I mean, they weren't even up to speed. He's hitting the wall at 63 miles an hour, which isn't great, but it's kind of like a side hit. I'm surprised that... Uh, that it was that bad. It said it killed his car. So that really stinks. <laughs> Sam's gonna hit the wall under caution. That is an equipment failure right there. Just gets it back at the very end, but yeah, that definitely was not a normal wreck. I bet we can see from the cockpit unnatural wheel movement or something. Yeah, any of the wiggling you see there, I think it's just force feedback or something. It's like unnaturally straight coming out of the corner. You can see he's not uh, counter steering at all. Just cuts through the grass and then right there he gets his connection back or something. In fact, it might have been like VR, it goes dark or something. He's just trying to hold the wheel straight. Whatever it was, that definitely looked like an equipment failure of some sort. And that really stinks for him. So he'll uh, meet the pit wall. He actually stopped in my stall. Hey, get out of there. It's mine. I'm trying to steal my pit crew. 23 is going to get loose. Correct it into the path of the 13. Gets turned, but not a great situation for those guys. Just 
Charles gonna get the wall on entry, that safer barrier. Ironically making things less safe in that specific circumstance, because without it, I don't think he hits the wall at all. <laughs> Not that any of it actually does anything in a virtual race, but... 24 is gonna collect the wall just a bit. And we're under pit here. Everyone doing their pit stops, I don't know why we're seeing it. Back out on track, lap 62. We're actually coming up near to the end of this thing. I don't think we're going to see too much more. Pretty solid hit on entry there. Man, we were in second at this point. <laughs> Anyone's going to get the wall, come down, and nearly hook the 19. I don't know what the 21 is doing. Here why we're seeing that. Just gonna continue moving forward. 19 got the wall. There's a 23. Unfortunately, didn't go so well for him, and that is an absolute, absolute cowabunga of a hit. That destroyed his car. You can tell it's not turning right anymore. 17. Preparing to cause chaos in a few laps. I think the 6 had the pit before the end of this one because of this fuel situation. 7 so going to get the, a tiny bit of the wall. That's a nice hit. Like, what are we doing here? 17, I'll the pace. Sitting in my lane. Starts back here because he hits the wall. And instead of holding his line, he cuts across in front of the leaders, and then he decides he's going to swerve back up the track, and then decides again to cut down low after I thought he was cutting up high. He's going to sit in the racing line, and we're all just having a great end, grand old time. So that's what happened there. Nearly spins it on the grass. The tires are just getting worn. That's why we're seeing some more of these things. Get past the 13. 17 not done. Being a mess out there. Hits the wall. Carl's going for 9th there as the 7 gets loose. they got a couple laps to go. 17, just driving up into the wall, having a grand old time still. Yeah, the tires are just worn at this point with a couple laps to go. Everybody's been driving hard. And I believe that is the end of the race. So, I think we had top three locked in. Fortunately, had a near disaster. And on the same token, fortunately, we avoided the full disaster. And we'll still get a top five. And uh, Larry gets the win. We got to watch a pretty fun battle at the end a little bit as we roasted our right front. Now that uh, we've finished up with the incidents, we will conclude this video with the race results page. It looks like we're pretty much going to break even on I rating with the top five here. 2610 Strength of Field. And you'll see here, plus four. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> sure, whatever. Uh, one incident after we uh, hit the grass a little bit. And uh, that's not going to affect our A499. You can see it was a very top-heavy field. We got 8,000, 7,000, 4,000. We got me with my just under 6,000, 5,500. We had some really strong competitors in here. And uh, we were able to finish ahead of um, one or two of them. Got yeah, like the 3,500 year and and stuff. And then I think we had, yeah, Dante's got over 3,000. He's a fast racer. The six pretty fast. But then at the same time, we had a couple of guys that were uh, a little bit lower. It's like the, uh, the 22, 1,700, 24, 1,600. 
So it was a very top-heavy field, and I think that can make uh, some dangerous situations sometimes, kind of like when we came up on the uh, the 17. So that'll that'll happen. I'm not mad at him or anything. I doubt he meant to do it. I think he was probably panicking a little bit because he was swerving around the track and maybe struggling to get it gathered up. It's frustrating, but I'm, uh, I'm going to forget about it immediately after this race. So um, that will do it. We will finish it off there. This has been Legacy Texas in the Gen 4. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.